All right, well, some moves have been made. First, former right tackle Andrew Wiley is moving on, and the Chiefs have signed another right tackle that could possibly be playing left tackle. So let's talk about it, but first, how about those? All right, guys, first up, if you love breaking Chiefs news or just news about the Kansas City Chiefs overall, make sure to like the vid, sub if you're new. Uh, we're about to hit 100,000 subs on the channel, which is freaking crazy. This is all I do, man. Cover the Chiefs. We were just live for a couple hours waiting for Chiefs moves to happen. And since that did happen, there's been a couple things that have gone on. First up, Andrew Wiley. He signed a three-year deal worth $24 million with the Commanders. So he's gonna be joining offensive coordinator, Eric Bieniemy. followed him from Kansas City to Washington. I'm so happy for Andrew Wiley. This man has basically made borderline league minimum for most of his career. So he's going to get in a bag. Obviously the Chiefs, we're interested in other options, which we'll find out here in a second, but super happy for Andrew Wiley. After that happened, Aaron Wilson reported that Texans Pro Bowl left tackle Laramie Tunzel has been discussed in a potential trade scenario with the Chiefs. According to league sources, fluid situation on whether it happens, however, Chiefs potentially retaining Orlando Brown Jr. has not been ruled out by the Chiefs per source. Okay, so that happened. Then, a uh, curveball. Adam Schefter, just 17 minutes ago, as of when I'm recording this video, March 13th, 1.30 p.m. Central. Former Jags offensive tackle Jawan Taylor reached an agreement on a four-year, $80 million deal, including $60 million guaranteed with the Kansas City Chiefs per sources, deal negotiated and confirmed by Drew Rosenhaus and Robert Bailey. Drew Rosenhaus is also Tyreek's agent, if that name sounds familiar. The confusing thing, though, was they're paying a lot of money for a right tackle, because Jawan Taylor has played more than 4,000 snaps at right tackle <laughs> and only 17 snaps at left tackle in his NFL career. Okay, he's been in the NFL for four years. Good news is he's only 25, relatively healthy, meaning he's never even missed a game in his four-year career. So yeah, the Chiefs seem very high on him, and at first I'm like, okay, so they make it a big move for a right tackle to replace Andrew Wiley, and maybe they'll sign a veteran left tackle as a placeholder and draft I almost sound like I said giraffe. Draft somebody that's a left tackle and let them develop. That's what I thought. But Albert Breer said the Chiefs are signing Jawan Taylor to a four-year deal with the plan being to make him their new left tackle, I'm told, pending what happens in the draft. So like they did with Orlando Brown, they will convert a right tackle over. KC gets the long-term stability they sought at that spot. Uh, very surprising. They just must not have thought Orlando Brown Jr. was that guy. Very interesting development here for the Chiefs and their offensive line. Devin Clements of Heavy.com said, instead of giving Orlando Brown Jr. a $20 plus million a year contract, the Chiefs add a right tackle that they will convert to left for $15 million a year guaranteed. Four years, $80 million, but only $60 million guaranteed. It's brilliant, really. So... Let me know your thoughts on that. I mean, I will say this. If you look up Jawan Taylor's grades on PFF, so out of all tackles in the NFL who's played at least 50% of snaps last season, then this is at right tackle. Jawan Taylor is the 50th ranked tackle overall out of 57, okay? So getting a little low, and part of that is because his run blocking grade is not good. He has the worst run block grade of any tackle on this list. 39.7. However, his pass blocking grade is a lot higher. He was graded out at 75.9, and Orlando Brown Jr. was graded out at 76.8. And that doesn't mean anything to you as you're listening to me ramble, but what that means is Orlando Brown Jr. from a pass block grade was the 17th best tackle in the NFL. Jawan Taylor was the 26th best tackle in the NFL uh, is a little bit younger, played a lot of snaps, 1,200 snaps. Orlando played 1,300, so right, right there, close. Now, Marcus Whitman, that franchise guy, we had him on a live stream last Friday talking about the draft. He said this, and actually tagged me in it, Jawan Taylor is a better pass protector than Orlando Brown for cheaper. They also get a guy who isn't gonna throw a fit if they ask him to play right tackle. Then he said, Cole, this is a perfect guy for what we talked about, where now they don't have to worry about right or left in the draft. They can take the best guy and figure out who fits where later. So with all that being said, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on this situation. Are you happy for Andrew Wiley getting a bag? Are you surprised? 
by the Chiefs going for Jawan Taylor, a right tackle with the hope of moving him to left, depending on how the draft goes. This is very interesting. Again, what Marcus said, now the Chiefs don't have to worry about right or left tackle in the draft. They can just take the best one. And if they find a left tackle, they, this guy won't throw a fit. Talking about Jawan Taylor. If they play him at right, because he's not saying, play me at left or trade me, like Orlando did with the Ravens. So very interesting developments. As of when I recorded this video, Orlando Brown Jr. is uh, still a free agent. So we'll definitely have to wait and see what happens with him. But it doesn't look likely that the Chiefs are going to take a big swing on a right tackle in Jawan Taylor and a left tackle. They are indeed going to move him to the left unless they make something else happen in the draft. Very interesting developments here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah.